A Little Fear is a short story written by Patricia Wrightson, published in 1975. The story revolves around a young Australian boy named David, who is sent to live with his grandmother in the countryside. David is described as a timid child who is afraid of many things. He is apprehensive about moving to his grandmother's house, as it is located near a forest, which he finds quite scary. The story is set in the Australian countryside, where the author uses vivid descriptions to create an immersive setting. The forest is described as dense and foreboding, with towering trees and a pervasive silence that makes David feel uneasy. This description helps to build the atmosphere of the story and create a sense of foreboding that pervades the entire narrative. The story explores the theme of fear and how it affects individuals differently. David's grandmother, who is depicted as a wise and patient woman, understands his fears and tries to help him overcome them. She encourages him to face his fears and confront them, rather than running away from them. She tells him that fear is a natural response to danger and that it can be useful, but it should not control his life. Throughout the story, the author employs various literary techniques to create a sense of tension and suspense. The forest is described in ominous terms, with the use of words like dark and shadowy. The author also uses foreshadowing to hint at the dangers that lurk in the forest. For example, when David sees a snake in the garden, his grandmother tells him that there are many dangerous creatures in the countryside, and he must learn to be careful. The story also explores the theme of the relationship between grandparents and grandchildren. David's grandmother is portrayed as a kind and loving woman who cares deeply for her grandson. She is patient with him and takes the time to understand his fears. She encourages him to explore the countryside and enjoy his time there. This portrayal of the grandmother as a positive and supportive figure highlights the importance of intergenerational relationships and the role that grandparents can play in the lives of their grandchildren. The climax of the story occurs when David's dog, Snuffles, runs into the forest and does not return. David becomes frantic with worry, and his fear of the forest is reignited. He is convinced that something terrible has happened to Snuffles and that he will never see him again. This event forces David to confront his fears and venture into the forest in search of his dog. This sequence is a turning point in the story and highlights the character's growth and development. In the end, David finds Snuffles unharmed and learns that the forest is not as scary as he thought. He realizes that his fear was mostly based on his imagination and that there was nothing to be afraid of. This realization marks a significant transformation in David's character, as he learns to face his fears and overcome them. The story ends on a positive note with David feeling more confident and self-assured. In conclusion, A Little Fear is a well-crafted story that explores the theme of fear and its effects on individuals. Through the use of vivid descriptions, foreshadowing, and character development, the author creates a sense of tension and suspense that keeps the reader engaged. The story also highlights the importance of intergenerational relationships and the role that grandparents can play in shaping the lives of their grandchildren. Ultimately, the story conveys a message of courage and resilience, showing how individuals can overcome their fears and emerge stronger and more self-assured.